Hey guys, no matter which iPad you've got, this video is for you. But as of now, you should see this. Welcome to iPad. We can just get started. And as you do, there's going to be a lot of apps that are going to download. Now, something that tends to happen is that these downloads sometimes take forever. You don't see that anything's happening. They're not actually downloading. Well, maybe you just have to sign it back into your Apple Store. So just open up your App Store. It's going to ask you to sign it if you have to. So in this case, for me, for example, it did in fact need me to sign back into my Apple ID in here. So I just have to put in my passcode and that's about it. So right now I can make sure that those apps are actually downloading because without that, they just wouldn't download and they would be stuck in that limbo forever. Now, as for your passwords, that's something that you could look up in your settings. Now it depends if you guys use keychain, yes, your passwords would actually transfer from your old iPad to your new one because it's in your keychain. It is within your iCloud. And even if you guys didn't ever purchase any additional iCloud space, you would still have that chain active, which by the way, that's my case. I do not purchase any extra iCloud storage and I still have my keychain active. So in my Mac and iPhone, I actually have the same passwords that are saved here in Safari or anywhere else within the Apple system. You may notice that apps are actually downloading. So this one, you can see the circles going and it just downloaded. Right now, what I can do is go back to your settings. In your settings, the last thing you guys have to do is just update Apple ID settings and finish setting up your iPad. Those are the last two things we have to do. So that way nothing will get stuck and your keychain plus all your password would just transfer over just fine. Now my old iPad, I'm just gonna get back into it. I'm gonna see transfer complete. I can click on continue and it's gonna tell me this. Do I want to erase this iPad? Which you can. At this point in time, you can do that. Or what you can do is just skip that. Keep using this iPad. You can use as many iPads as you like with the same Apple ID. It's your Apple ID. You can have a bunch of iPads at your disposal. So I'm gonna put not now for now. And there we go. I can keep using my old one, use my new one. And if I ever want to wipe this one clean, well, I do have a separate video that shows you how to factory restore, but it's extremely easy. You would just go right into your settings. You go down here where it says transfer or reset iPad from here. You would choose the second option down here below where it says erase all content and settings. And after you choose erase all content and settings, you're all done. It's just going to wipe this one clean. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.